The Merchant City State Asteroid of Eclusia. Distance 7492. Arrival in 40 minutes. Good. What's that? There's not even a sound? No, ma'am. Are you sure it's not a false reading? I can't imagine that such a busy asteroid could be so silent. There are no transmissions whatsoever. I don't even detect signals between individual citizens. The spaceport is also closed. Perhaps there's been some type of accident. sensor to review events going back. Aye, aye. Operating time sensor. Set at level 0 0.5. Going backwards gradually in one minute intervals. There's been a response in the time sensor. We've captured it. Bringing it up on the monitor. How old is this image? It must be very recent based on the clarity and color of the picture. It's from two hours ago. We've captured images from the traffic control monitors. Two hours ago, life on Eclusian was as peaceful as usual. Captain, life sensor responses from Eclusian are zero. The asteroid appears to be dead. What's this? Eclusian is dead? What happened on this asteroid? A small craft is approaching us from the stern. The craft is asking permission to dock. The name of the captain? No response. Looks like they're on manual flight. Must be quite the ace. Permission to dock is granted, but be prepared for anything. Aye, aye. Initiating scan. Older construction type, 
It's a long-range type spacecraft, despite its size. Oh no! What is it? The entire spacecraft is one big gravity bomb. Captain, that vessel is an anti-battleship torpedo craft. Two crew members. Life sensors indicate warm-blooded beings. They're human. And they're armed. Hi there. And you two are... Excuse me, but we'd like you to land this ship on Occlusia. What? The spaceport's closed, so we couldn't get in. You know, kaboom! <laughs> you just have to let one off and make a hole for us. It's not that big a deal. If we do that, we'll cause casualties inside. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. You already know that there's nothing alive in there, Captain. Who are you people? <laughs> that doesn't matter. Are we going down to Occlusion or not? You already know what we've got on our shuttle from your scan. <laughs> Besides, don't you want to find out why Occlusion is a dead asteroid? I mean, isn't that the job of the Space Patrol? All right, we'll land on Occlusion. The entry into the spaceport is on the south side of the equatorial line. <laughs> How silly of me. You'd at least know that much. Don't lose your aim here. If you punch a hole in the wrong place, the thing could decompress and blow us to smithereens. Borrowing your sensor shuttle. What about the shuttle you came in on? We'll leave that on the ship. This way, if you try to leave us stranded here, it's kaboom! Tell me what is happening on that asteroid. You'll have to see Mime about that. Mime? Yes, the sorceress of legend. Mime. Nothing at all is functioning in this city. It's like some kind of ghost town. Captain, who exactly is this Mime? A sorceress. A descendant and remaining survivor of a clan that once ruled the entire universe. If that clan were to return to power... It is said that the universe will return to a primordial darkness. Can Mime actually be on Occlusion right now? It can't be. According to legend, the entire clan was wiped out. Damn! Can't see too well through all this fog. The weather control system must be damaged. I'm still detecting musical radiation. From where? About two kilometers ahead. There. The radiation must be coming from that odd-looking building.
What a savage way to die. I hate seeing stuff like that. That was the mayor of Eclusian. He took his own life. Yes, Captain. And it's quite powerful. Are you saying that's the reason the asteroid fell silent? I don't know. But it would appear that there is some connection between them, Captain. The two strangers are presently at the source of the radiation. What? Mime! Why did you disappear from the ship? You were the navigator! Because you did not return, my friends are in trouble. I will apologize to Harlock, but I cannot return right now. Mime, tell us where you are right now. Where are you emitting this musical radiation from? From Planet Rhyme. Planet Rhyme? The gold, the Rhine gold, is about to be taken by bandits. The Rhine gold? Mime, are you talking about the gold at the center of the universe? That's right, the Rhine gold. As you can see, the bandits have already come to Eclusian and annihilated it. What for? As a means to force the mayor to give up the location of Rhyme. The bandits were powerful, and they annihilated the citizens of this asteroid. The mayor couldn't bear it, and told them where the planet Rhyme was. Feeling responsible for having caused the annihilation of his citizens, he... He hung himself. Those bandits are now on their way here. The gold is here on Planet Rhyme, guarded by three priestesses. But the three are powerless against the strength of the bandits. If the gold is taken, the universe will revert to the ancient darkness. The ancient darkness. The same fate cannot be repeated. The universe cannot return to darkness. What's the matter? Mime! Help me! Totoro! Emeralda! Hola! Support shell has been punctured. We must hurry or all pressure will be lost. Emergency jettison! Space Patrol wasted no time in leaving us behind. Well, right now, we just have to find a way out of this place. Tell me something I don't know. Occlusion is the main merchant base around these parts, after all. There are lots of ships in here. There's one over there.
Planet Rhine, huh? Well, where is it? We'll find it if we trace the musical radiation. I'll set it on autopilot and off we go. So why did Mime suddenly disappear from that room? She said that the bandits were about to steal the Rhine gold. Does that mean we're too late? I don't know, but we better hurry. It's Planet Rhine. We're very close. What a beautiful planet. Waterways, nothing abnormal here. Huh? Hey, that's a the pipe organ that Mime was playing. A major armed force came here. It looks that way. I hope she's all right. I don't think she's the kind of woman who'd be so easily defeated. Do you see what I see? It's me, Tochiro! Cut it out! Tochiro! Ah, oh, boy, that was terrible. Thank you for coming, both of you. How can we help? It's too late. Those are the three. The three priestesses that were guarding the Rhine Gold. I could not leave it to them alone. But I was of no use and the gold was taken from this place. The gold that sat beneath the waters under guard for eons and eons. It is the center of the universe, the essence of time. It rules the universe. Those bandits took the gold from this place, and their only intention is to keep it for themselves. I can't imagine that a piece of gold could give you the power to rule the universe. It is the Rheingold that makes such power possible. Go alongside it. It's Harlock. So he finally appears. Tochiro. Sorry I was too late, Harlock. I found Mime, though. Mime. I've been worried about you ever since you disappeared. Return to the ship. Thank you, Harlock. What about those three? 
Their only purpose was to guard and protect the Rhine Gold. But because the gold has been taken, this planet will soon fall into darkness. Fall into darkness? The three priestesses are prepared to vanish along with the planet. It is a sad end, but that is their fate. Planet Rhine has been consumed by darkness. I see. What's our heading, sir? Planet Earth. Ultra-high precision processing of the Rhine Gold can only be done there. Set course to Earth. Aye, aye. <laughs> Thank you, Mimei, for returning to us. Of course, Hylock. We'll just have to take back what was stolen. Don't worry, Mimei. We will deal with those bandits. Thank you, Hylock. Bandits were closing in on Dr. Daiba's son, Tadashi Daiba, in order to make a ring from the Rhine Gold. On the trail of the bandits, we head towards Earth. What secret does the Rhine Gold possess? Mimei's mysterious past will at last become apparent. <laughs> <laughs> 